right, I'm going to be covering the new improved way to take pictures of clearly the same fish. Um, what you're going to need to start with, and this is already assuming that you have your uh, camera set up with the appropriate lens, um, and that can be found in the other YouTube videos that's on the website. Um, this video is in supplement to Niels' video about using um, water to clear the same fish. I, however, found um, better results when using when using uh, uh, glycerol. So basically what you're going to start with is you're going to need a background and this is not using the soulmate. This is just using your typical um, black paper background. So we're going to place our background on the uh, place to get imaged. We have our uh, container for the fish and the glycerol and then we have our fish here and our glycerol here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some forceps to remove the fish from the glycerol in which it's stored in and then we will place this in the, in the container which we will be imaging. Once that's done, we're going to fill the container with glycerol just enough to cover the remainder of the fish so there's nothing out of, out of a, a liquid. So now we have the fish here in the center of the, in the, center of the uh, container of glycerol and it's basically ready to image. So I'll give you a closer up view of that. There's our fish. All right, so for the lighting, um, we're going to use the three fiber wire optic uh, uh, lights here. And I liked using these because they're extremely versatile. You can pretty much position them in any place you want. Also, um, there you can control the amount of light coming in and the direction of the light. So what we do is we're going to basically form a triangle of light. So we're going to have input coming from the upper left here with this light that I have my hand on now. We're going to have input coming in from the upper right as seen here with this light here. And then finally we're going to have light coming from the bottom with this light here. Like such. So now with your lights in place, you're basically ready to image. So the whole point of this type of lighting is to create no shadows. So if you have if you have light coming from these two directions, like so, and you have light coming from this direction, we have light going this way, this way, and this way, and there should be no shadows in the frame. Now, once we take pictures, we want to test the light levels and see which uh, which light levels work best, and um, also what helps is positioning this light um, either down more, because sometimes you'll get the um, you'll get the reflection of the the lip of the glass here, the lip of this glass here, um, when when trying to take the picture so that sometimes um, either the shadow or the reflection is in your pictures. So we have everything set up and you're ready to image. Um, I liked using glycerol for two reasons. The first reason being there are no bubbles in the picture. Um, glycerol gets rid of all the bubbles when I used water. Um, it, was it was filled with a lot of bubbles. And also um, the the properties of glycerol are much more clean, much more clear than water, and um, that is that is important when taking pictures of cleared and stained fish, especially when um, looking at small features like thin rays or vertebral um, elements. So that's basically the setup. Um, three fiber lights here, one specimen. Um, we use a 65 millimeter uh, lens for this this type of picture, but it would vary on which on how big uh, how big your your specimen is. So that's about it.